Hey everyone and welcome to Light Sirens Action. Today you've tuned in on a Medication Monday. Medication Monday is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where we highlight a different EMS drug that's administered out in the field. And we do it specifically in EMT drug card format. But as always, please abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is never intended to be a replacement for professional medical advice. Today's medication is called albuterol, and albuterol has a few brand names that you'll see out in the field, one being Provental, Ventolin, and Pro-Air. Albuterol falls under the class of beta-2 agonist, and it's also a bronchodilator. Your mechanism of action of albuterol is that it is a beta-2 agonist that relaxes the bronchial smooth muscle and the peripheral vasculature. Your indications for albuterol are difficulty breathing with a bronchospasm and or wheezing due to one or more of the three types of COPD, and the three types of COPD are asthma, emphysema, or chronic bronchitis. Before we get into dosages, please, as always, abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. Your dose for an adult is going to be two and a half to five milligrams up to 10 milligrams, and it will be in a normal saline 3 ml solution. And this is over five to 15 minutes. It may be repeated as necessary. Your pediatric dose is going to be 1.25 to two and a half milligrams up to five milligrams, also in a 3 ml normal saline solution. And this will be over 5 to 15 minutes. Your contraindications are going to be hypersensitivity, tachycardia, dysrhythmias secondary to heart conditions. Also, your adverse reactions are going to be tachycardia, palpitations, anxiety, tremors, coughing, increased sputum, and nasal congestion. So a lot of times when someone is getting albuterol via small volume nebulizer or an SVN, they will start to cough and kind of, for lack of better words, hack up what is going on in their Check. Just reassure your patient that that is normal for the medication. Some drug interactions of albuterol. So if it's used in conjunction with an MAOI, this could cause a hypertensive crisis. So be aware of what your patients are using or are prescribed. When it's used with a beta blocker, the effectiveness of the medication could possibly decrease. But if it's used with a beta agonist, it could possibly potentiate the effects. Albuterol also may potentiate hypokalemia or low potassium if patients are using diuretic. It is typically supplied in 2.5 milligrams in a 3 ml normal saline solution. A few side notes about albuterol. It is often given in conjunction with atrovent for greater effectiveness. So atrovent and albuterol is often referred to as duoneb. It's just the brand name for it. Or it's also referred to as an ANA treatment. So this combo is not recommended for pediatrics or those with peanut allergies or even those that have like excessive secretion like really wet lung sounds should pretty much stay away from the atrovent albuterol combo and just stick with the albuterol. Your peak effect of this medication is 30 minutes after administration. Use with caution in patients that are extremely tachycardic and that's because albuterol does cause tachycardia so just be really careful because it could potentiate the tachycardia that's already present. If the patient has used their at-home treatment or inhaler excessively they may actually experience paradoxical airway resistance. So if you're having a patient that maybe has taken their inhaler several times and you get them into the back of the ambulance and you give them a treatment and nothing's working, they may have taken it too many times and it's just not going to work. So in that case, get them to the hospital so the hospital can give them whatever medication they have available for this situation. Remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Have a great Monday and I will talk to you next week. Bye.